<laughs> Hi, Dee. I can press the button. <laughs> Hi, babe. I see all of my, my people. This is great. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a little bit to let people join. So um, <laughs> I'm so glad you're ready, Brad. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. I'd love to meet you sometime. I know you live in Kansas City. You should. We should get together for coffee. Wish I live closer to the. Oh gosh, wouldn't that be fun? Um, yeah, I'm excited to fill that position. It. There have been a lot of really amazing applicants. So. Um, don't blow anything up. I will attempt to not blow anything up. <laughs> hey, Jenny. Oh, gosh, there's a bunch of you guys on. This is exciting. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you all what I have happening here. <laughs> um, all right, so this is an acetylene B tank. Um, the torch that I'm going to be setting up today is my Presto light torch. So I just need my acetylene gas with this. Um, all your to all torches are different. So depending on what torch you have and what your setup is, you might need, for example, um, this is my propane oxygen setup for my little smith but i'm not doing that today i'm just going to be doing my acetylene why b what happened to a i don't know i think it's referring to the size brad so um it's usually a b is a smaller tank i'm guessing a is maybe the big tank i don't know i've never bought a big tank i just know that when i go to the welding supply store I say I want an acetylene B tank and they give me this and it works every time. So, um, yeah. Uh, when you get a brand new tank, they always come with these little caps. You just have to somehow get this off. It's like impossible. So I'll see if I have a pair of pliers. Um, Hi, Bob. <laughs> if any of you guys have questions, feel free to ask them. I can see them show up as it sort of goes along here. All right, so I've pulled off the little cap here. Um, I have a pretty decent relationship with the folks at the welding supply store, so they always give me the ones with the little turn knob. Hey, Nick Bates. <laughs> um, if it didn't have this little turn knob, it would have like a little square up here that you'd have to use you'd have to use a wrench for um but like i said they always give me the ones with the turn knob because i think they like me so um okay once you've got your um your little cap off you're ready to basically hook up your torch so this is the regulator um sometimes regulators have two gauges my Presto light torch only has one um, if it had two gauges, I'll show you here on my oxygen. So this is my oxygen over here. Um, if it has two gauges, the gauge that's closest to the tank is telling you what's happening in the tank. The gauge closest to the hose and the torch is telling you what's happening in the hose and the torch. Um, and in these ones, these great ones with two gauges, you can adjust the pressure that actually goes to your hose. Since mine only has one gauge, I can adjust the pressure here a little bit, but I can't actually see what it is. So um, the pressure that's being shown on this gauge is the pressure that's in the tank. All right. Okay. So back over here. Okay. So um, once you're ready to hook it up, you just apply the two ends together and start tightening that nut. Um, I like to use a crescent wrench. This big guy to get this hand tight. You don't need to go super tight, just tight enough to get it 
in place. So good. Push on it. If I can get that off. All right, that's all it really needs to be, okay? So, once you've got that on, you're now connected to the torch. And you simply just have to open up the valve to let the gas into the regulator. You want to make sure that your torch is closed so that you're not just spewing gas all over the place, all right? So we'll open that up. And now you guys can see my gauge is registering that there is gas in the tank. So this is telling me that I have a almost full tank. Um, as I use this, this gauge will go down and will eventually get to empty. So, all right. Now that you've got gas in the regulator, the last thing that you have to do is make sure that all of your seals are good. Nobody wants acetylene gas leaking all over the place. So what I use is just a paintbrush and a little dish and just a splash of Dawn. And then you want to just get a little bit of water. And mix those two up. If um, you've ever had to check your tire for a leak, it's the same principle. Um, if you paint this little soap and water solution onto the seams, if there's a leak, there'll be lots of little bubbles. Um, and so we just need to check it and make sure that everything is good. So I always like to check both the back and the front of this big nut. Um, since it does slide back and forth, there's a chance that it could come out of either side. I also, when I get a new tank, like to check this opening here. I don't know that I've ever found an issue with it, but I don't know, I'm a little OCD. I don't want leaking gas. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. If this was a brand new torch, I would also check all of these little seams here around the regulator, but I've checked these multiple times. This is not a new torch for me, so I don't need to check those seams unless something weird has happened. Um, but that's pretty much it. So now if I turn the knob on my torch, you can hear the gas coming out and we can light it and make fire. <laughs> Okay, so that's really pretty much it to setting up your torch. Um, uh, one of the big things I like to do at the end of my session is if I've worked for a little while and I'm not gonna come back until tomorrow or the next day, I do like to turn my torch off and bleed the hoses. So just to give you guys a quick rundown of what that looks like, I turn this off and watch this dial here. As I release the gas, it's gonna go all the way down to empty. And I can hear it slowing down and I turn that off. And that's the way I leave my torches at night. Uh, that removes pressure from the regulator and the hose and the torch and um, it keeps things nice and I don't know, unpressurized. If you can imagine something being constantly under pressure, it's nice to remove that pressure for a little while, especially if you're not using it. So that's pretty much it. Um, do you guys want me to light the torch again? <laughs> Does anybody have any questions about um, any of the things that I've done? Oh, I have to turn it on to light it, duh. There we go, we can just sit here with fire all day. <laughs> so yeah, um, fun tutorial on torches, and maybe I'll do that another day. It's all, all torches need gas and air. So in my torch here in this Presto Light torch, the gas is coming from the tank and the air is coming from around the, the tip here. These tips all are interchangeable. I've got smaller ones and bigger ones. But the two mix together to make the, the nice refined point. 
if we were just lighting gas on fire, it would just be this loosey goosey flame. So the air really helps to control it and make that sort of um, pinpoint uh, flame that you see. So Jenny asked, what are the benefits of using acetylene over propane? Oh, great question. Um, so I have a propane tank over here on my other torch. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's that one. Um, every gas has a slightly different, has slightly different properties. So um, acetylene is a slightly dirtier gas. Um, sometimes when you light the torch, you'll get these little wispy black things. Um, that's coming from the acetylene. Um, one of them also burns hotter, and I'm pretty sure it's the acetylene, but I don't remember. Um, for what I'm doing in my application, I don't need it to be the hottest thing in the world, so I, I don't really care as much, but that's the main two things, so cleanliness of the gas burning and then also um, temperature, so yeah. Do you prefer propane or acetylene? Well, I use both. So Dee asked if I used propane or acetylene, Acetylene burns hotter. That's what I thought. Cause so if you hook up, um, and I know that this torch is teeny tiny that I've got here versus this torch, which is like a monster in comparison. This guy actually burns quite a bit hotter and cleaner because it also has oxygen in it. So versus bringing in the air around us, it's bringing in that super concentrated oxygen and that helps it burn hotter too. Um, so there's just different combinations. For my little Smith D, I like the um, propane because I don't have to get those little black wispies as badly with the acetylene. Um, for this guy, I don't get those because it's already mixing with the air. Um, and I, I mean, this is designed for acetylene, so I have to use acetylene with it. Um, a lot of torches, depending on which one you buy, you can pick sort of which gases you want and it's all very dependent on, you know, which setup you get. Like these little regulators can only be used on a particular tank. So like on my, on mine it'll say like which one it is and what it needs to be done. So I've heard the little torch can get super hot. And, oh yeah. It is so hot. Like here, I'll light this little thing. I've got a number five tip on here, so it's gonna be pretty small. Um, so that just, so when I light it, I just turned on the gas knob just to light the flame. And then I begin to incorporate the oxygen. So see how now it's a lot more refined? Add more propane, add more oxygen. Yeah, I mean, that is like monster hot compared to, well, and it's so defined. I think that's also what makes it really hot. I'm pushing the thresholds, yeah, so it blew itself out. But um, yeah, this guy gets ma majorly hot. So do you guys have any other questions for me? If not, I think I'm probably going to, Sign off here in a second. Thank you all for joining. I just, I appreciate it. I thought I had to set it up anyway, so I thought I might as well just share with you. <laughs> Thumbs up is right. <laughs> so, um, gotta go, but thank you so much for the demo. Oh, anytime, are you kidding? <laughs> um, I'm happy to do these little demos, especially these short ones, because it's nothing nothing too crazy. I'll save this to my feed and I will probably go ahead and save the video to my, um, my YouTube channel as well. So you guys will be able to see it on my YouTube channel. All right. Bye. Oh, it's been real. <laughs>